It's March 10th. Good to see you again with our videos. We're going to start with the back end first application. Uh, you know, as a kid, when I was in first grade, I used to love watching the workers in the neighborhood. I was in a new development and they were still building houses. They're still, you know, working on the streets, the driveways, the yards. And there's all kinds of all kinds of activity to watch. And I was just fascinated with all the work going on. And then down the street, uh, they built a car wash and they had a, they were building a shopping center, including uh, an ice cream store. And I was like, this is a good neighborhood. <laughs> I remember fascinated with watching uh, the car wash in action and the workers there. And I liked it so much that I asked my parents for a car wash for Christmas. Not a life-size one, but a model car wash and put little cars to it and and it had water and it had rollers and brushes and yep that's what i wanted <laughs> those were people that i saw that worked hard and uh, i also saw that my father worked hard you know and he was uh the father of two he had also fostered two uh, along the way in our family and now another child was on the way and so he was uh he took a job away from his uh, native New York City and and we went there and that's that's why we moved to this new development because dad had a new job and just watching dad hard at work and I also see him involved with the church and so his work also included the church so from this son uh, to a father a shout out uh, for his example and um, and I think Jesus um, we know that he gives a shout out to Joseph and all that Joseph did for him. Hi everyone, we're in our St. Joseph series and thank you for coming along and reading the book and saying your prayers and pondering what you can put into practice and how you can get into some habits of prayer or service. Thank you very much. Today, uh, the theme is Joseph the Worker, and I, I show you the, the uh, statue that we're trying to get uh, from a, a studio in Italy, and it depicts Joseph as the worker, and uh, just like it, just like the way it uh, depicts him with the, the wood in hand and a tool in hand, and uh, he's, uh, he's looking content, you know, faithful in his work glad to do it and uh, he's wearing the workman's clothes and this would be a statue that's the same height as our Mary one and the church where she's holding the Christ child and Joseph would be placed next to her if all goes right uh, in getting this beautiful Italian statue and then getting a carpenter to make the base and it's kind of cool that we'll even have a carpenter on the job getting the pedestal ready for our statue. And it'll be weeks and weeks before this comes in. We're just in the uh, order process right now. But since it's St. Joseph the Worker uh, theme today, I uh, thought I'd lead off uh, with this wonderful picture. Thank you. I'm going to now take you uh, to some thoughts as I ponder a, a statue I have of Joseph by my front door and a resurrection Jesus and it's right near the uh, the house Bible we are in the litany of Saint Joseph and we've gone through the Joseph most titles and we've gone through some major titles of him and now it's 11 titles in a row this is the third one model of workmen that we uh that we pray uh, one after another in the litany and it honors joseph as a workman and uh so there's joseph and uh the risen jesus it's an image at my door and uh joseph the patron of the universal church we got the church there and when i think of Joseph, I just think of him being a model to his son, teaching things and remembering even the great Proverbs uh, of the faith and 
the book of Proverbs is uh, this this uh, tape is opened up to it. And I can just read a little bit from Proverbs 6. I just opened this at random, really. My son, uh, go to the ant uh, and study her ways. Uh, you know, the ant's quite a worker, right? <laughs> she procures her food in the summer, stores up her provisions in the harvest. But how long will the sluggard rest or rise from their sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the arms to rest. Then poverty will come upon you like a highwayman and want like an armed man. That's Proverbs 6, verse 1 and on. And now verse 20. Observe, my son, your father's bidding and reject not your mother's teaching. Keep them fastened around your neck for the bidding is a lamp and the teaching is a light, and the way to life is a teaching, a reproof, a discipline to keep you from sin. My son, keep my words and treasure my commands. Keep my commands and live, my teaching as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers, write them on the tablet of your heart. You know, Joseph would have had the little things wrapped around his finger and the Shema tablet around his heart. And Joseph would have been trying to pass on the things that he learned from his father Jacob and from other men of Israel that were faithful and from the teachings of the faith and from God, the Heavenly Father. And he's trying to pass it on to Jesus. And that's his job for a long time. Combined with uh, working as a carpenter, he still had to do that. We all are faithful in our work as well as our home life and our leisure life. We are faithful, though, to our work, and certainly Joseph was. And Joseph also had to be a good husband, so that was working. Well, you may be thinking, okay, it's Wednesday. It's the application day. What are works that I can do? Well, I'll give you a list. The works of mercy, the seven spiritual works and the seven corporal works. Take a look at that list, and that'll give you some things as being a spiritual worker. Well, uh, getting ready to wrap it up uh, a little early today. Uh, St. Joseph, these pictures in the back of the book, uh, 312, 313. Uh, he's got his crown on. He has he is crowned for the work he did, the work in the home, the work in the career, the job, the work of loving Mary, the work in the community, the work of uh, living the faith and passing it on as a good Jewish gentleman. Yes, but I think I'll wrap it up by saying that Joseph did the work. There's the secret, right? He did it. Given the work to do, and he did it. I think that's half the time that's really what it's all about is are we willing to do the work? Are we going to show up and put in our effort or not? And that goes right back to our faith, doesn't it? Well, this is Father John Barry, and day to day with St. Joseph, and we'll see you again tomorrow for another uh, exciting title of Joseph. <laughs>